Hello everyone. Today we'll be solving two easy questions in which we'll have to recognize a particular pattern. The first question is let z equals to 999 so 9 is being repeated be an integer consisting of a string of 2007 nines. So the digit 9 has been written 2007 times in this integer z. Find the sum of digits of z square. Now how to solve this question? See 99 is a very special number. You will be using the value of square of 99 in a number of questions. So you must remember it. Basically 99 square is 9801. But here in this question we have to multiply z to z. That means we have to multiply 2007 times 9 to 2007 times 9. So that becomes a huge problem. But if we try to find out a particular pattern like we just found 99 square is 9801 if i write triple 9 square it will be 998001 so this is the value of 999 square similarly if you find out 999 square then its value will be we'll have three nines then eight then triple zero then one so here we can see a pattern that if the number is 99 then we'll be having 1 9 we'll have 1 8 1 0 and this 1 if we have 3 9's multiplied to 3 9's that means triple 9 square we'll be getting 2 9's then a single 8 then 2 zeros then 1 then if we multiply 9 9 9 9 if we find out its square it will be 3 times 9 then a single 8 then we'll have three zeros then one. So the pattern that we can identify over here is if nine nine digit is written n times and if we find out its square we are getting nine n minus one times repeated. Like when I find out 99 square I'm getting nine only once. When I'm finding out triple nine square I'm getting nine twice. If I'm finding out nine 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 square then I'm getting nine three times. If we look at the number of 8, 8 is always single. We have 1 8 over here, 1 8 over here, 1 8 over here. So 8 will be single and it will come after the 9. Then if we talk about zeros, zeros are also increasing. But the number of zeros is equal to the number of 9s. In all the squares we can see we have 1 0 1 9 in the first one. Then 2 9 2 zeros in the second one, 3 9 3 zeros in the third one. So 0 is also repeating n minus 1 times finally if we look at the number of ones it is always one in the end so one will be occurring only once so now we have been given a string of 2007 nines so if we square it we'll be getting nine repeated how many times 2006 times i hope this is clear just after that we'll be getting a single digit eight then we'll be getting 0. How many times? We'll have 2006 zeros. Then the last digit will be 1. So this will be our number when we square a string of 2007 nines. We have to find out the sum of its digits. So we'll multiply 2006 into 9 plus 8. We do not have to care about the zeros because their sum will always be 0. We have to care about the 1 in the end. So if we solve this, we'll be getting 18054 plus 9, which gives me 18063. So this will be the sum of digits of Z square. Option B is the correct answer. So this was very easy. If you know the pattern, if you recognize the pattern, let us try to solve the next question. The next question is what is the value of the following expression? So we have 1 upon 2 square minus 1, 1 upon 4 square minus 1, 1 upon 6 square minus 1, up till 1 upon 20 square minus 1. So we can write it as 1 upon 2 square minus 1 that means 3 plus 1 upon 4 square minus 1 means 15 then 6 square minus 1 that means 35 then so on we'll be going till 20 square minus 1 or I can write it as 20 minus 1 into 20 plus 1 so 19 into 21 so let me write it as 19 into 21 now how to find out the pattern in these questions you should always try to break down the denominator in such a manner that the terms that are being multiplied in the denominator the difference between them is the same so how can we do that over here 
if I write this as 1 by 1 and 2, 3, then we have a difference of 2 between 1 and 3. I can write 15 as 3 into 5. Again, we have a difference of 2 between 3 and 5. Then 1 upon 5 into 7. Again, I have a difference of 2. So that means this whole series definitely it will follow the same pattern. The difference between the terms involved in denominator, it will be 2. We can see it till the last term over here, 19 into 21, we have a difference of 2 over here as well. So 1 upon 19 into 21. So we have opened up the series. Now all these terms, they can be broken down further. You must have come across terms like 1 upon a plus 1 upon b. So mostly in those what we do is we take the LCM ab over here, we write a plus b over here. You would have done this as well, 1 upon a minus 1 upon b, we take the LCM as ab. then b minus a is the term in the numerator. So this first term 1 by 1 and 2, 3, how can it be written in this form? I can write 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon 3 over here. But in that case, I am getting the value as 2 by 3, whereas it was 1 by 3 over here. So to make it 1 by 3, I can multiply it by 1 by 2. I hope this is clear. Then if I talk about the next term 1 upon 3 into 5, again, I can write it as 1 upon 3 minus 1 upon 5 but in the numerator we will be getting 2 but we only had 1 upon 3 into 5 over here so to cancel that 2 in numerator I will again multiply it by 1 by 2. So similarly I can say that with every term I will have to multiply 1 by 2 and these terms in the denominator they can be written separately by inserting a minus sign between them. So the last term would be 1 upon 19 minus 1 upon 21. Again, it will be multiplied by 1 by 2 over here. Now, since all the terms have 1 by 2, I can take it common. I'll get 1 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 minus 1 by 7 up to up to. I'll be getting 1 upon 19 minus 1 upon 21. So now we can see here that 1 by 3, 1 by 3 is being cancelled. Again, next two terms, again, next two terms, all are being cancelled. So till 1 upon 19 everything will be cancelled at last this 1 upon 21 will remain because we do not have any term which can cancel it. So at last I will be remaining with 1 upon 2 this 1 was remaining over here 1 minus 1 by 21 which gives me half of 20 by 21 at last I will be getting 10 by 21 as the final answer option B will be the answer over here. In the upcoming videos we will solve a few questions in which we will have three terms in the denominator over here like 1 into 3 into 5, 3 into 5 into 7 like that. So this can be very useful even in cat 19 a sum like this came up. Sometimes the denominator might be in form of root. So in that case we have to rationalize. We will discuss all those things in another video. For now I hope the explanation is clear. If there is any doubt please ask again. Thank you.